Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Two Chicago police officers struggle with a CTA passenger near the Grand Avenue station on the red line. Cell phone video captures the entire incident. The officers use their taser on the man, and after more than five minutes, Officer Melvina Bogard fires her weapon at the man, later identified as Ariel Roman. He's hit in the abdomen, causing serious injuries. A Cook County judge today ruling the shooting was not a crime. Judge Claps made the right ruling. There is no doubt about that. The officer's attorney argued she fired in self-defense. Before announcing his verdict, Judge Joseph Claps recounted the incident, noting Roman ignored the officer's commands and was allegedly carrying a large amount of drugs. He has zero credibility, zero, said the judge. To hear that come from a judge uh, was deeply disturbing. Attorneys for Roman have filed a federal civil suit. They say the video clearly shows the officer firing at the back of an unarmed man. We don't think it was the right decision. You have a video that shows that this man, our client, was shot running away in the back twice, unarmed, shot in the back. Police officer chases him up the stairs without anything in his hand, no evidence of any weapon, shoots him plain cold in the back. Police Superintendent David Brown has recommended Officer Bogard and her partner, Bernard Butler, be fired. The matter has yet to be decided by the police board. We thought that it was quite appropriate to uh, separate the officer from the uh, police department based on uh, the violations identified by COPA. She's going to have to deal with what's going to happen at the police board, but based on that ruling, we're really confident that she is fit for duty. The federal judge has yet to set a trial date in the civil case against Officer Bogard. Attorneys say that could be scheduled sometime next year. At 26th in California, John Garcia, ABC 7. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.